Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 19th of November 2025, I hope you are keeping well. I'm up quite early here today and uh, feeling reasonably good after having a proper night's sleep. Well, mostly a proper night's sleep I think. Uh, and I've got not too much to do today so uh, I should be playing our three games of Sudoku for sure. Well, you know, if if uh, life lets me that is of course um what's going on in the world i find it interesting and f i'm full of uh, intrigue and wonder about what's going to happen uh, um to the cultists um how will they react uh, most of, not all of trump's trump voters are cultists but Many of them are, a high proportion of them are. They're these QAnon lunatics that believe in conspiracy theories and their brains have been kind of rewired to trust in nonsense and lies. And this can easily shift, you know, because uh, when they say something, uh, they'll, they'll go, yes, yes, yes. And then when they say something later, they'll say, yes, yes, yes. Um, in a way, it reminds me quite a lot of uh, George Orwell's 1984. Do you remember when the those... The, when the proles that have been uh, completely brainwashed, they believe that they're at, they're at war with, uh, you know, any one time they're at war with uh, Eurasia, I think, let's say. And then uh, when the when the uh, when Big Brother tells them to change, they will be uh, of, uh, at war with East Asia. So the Eurasia and East Asia uh, and one is the uh, one of them, one of those is always the enemy, but that can change depending on what the Big Brother wants you to believe. And of course, they have to believe that they've always been at war with that particular country. I hope my memory of that book. It's a long time since I read it, but <laughs> I hope my memory is correct there. But they have to believe. They have to believe what tells them, even if it's always, if even if, and that it's always been the case. I say this because Trump uh, went. Trump has obviously been spending most of his time or spending a lot of his time since uh, taking office in doing everything he possibly can to make sure that the Epstein files never see the light, never see the light of day. Right. I mean, he has clearly what he's been doing and the mega cultists can see this now, of course. Uh, it, since he was about to lose the vote, Trump just changed his mind before <laughs> before <laughs> before the uh, vote uh, was taken, the almost unanimous vote to release the files. I think only one person voted against it. So what will the cultists now think? Will they say, see, we told you, Trump said, you know, before he was elected, Trump said that he would release the files and he said, you know, go ahead and release the files. And that's what he's always said and that's all, never changed, you know. Or will they understand that Trump has done everything possible to re not release the files and then been forced into backtracking very quickly when he realized that he was going to lose? Trump does this all the time. He doesn't endorse candidates until he knows that they're going to win. So he can say, I'm on the side of the winners. But, but you know, what will these people who believe nonsense, these people who believe his lies and him, the man never stops lying, what, what will they be thinking? Will they be thinking? It's interesting to know, isn't it? You know, the human, the, psych, the psychology behind these, the, the behavior of people in a cult. Um, will they will they think that he has forever been trying to release the files? But, you know, I don't know. People have been stopping him from doing that. Or will they actually ever realize that he's been spending all of this time uh, you know, trying to do that. And, and when bad things come out, if bad things come out, and presumably they will, bad things will come out, uh, what will they think? Will they ever think of anything bad of him? I, I think not. I mean, they, they already knew who he was before they voted for him. The, the sex offences stuff didn't really matter to them, did it? Or he's been accused of so many uh, misdeeds over the years that um, they, they clearly don't care about that anyway. But what will they, what will they believe? This is such such a strange thing about people in a cult. Uh, it is depressing though <laughs> about people in cults and having to talk about them on such a wide scale. Let's get on with our game of Sudoku, shall we? It's the Guardian's medium level puzzle. Generally speaking, pretty easy. Often the Wednesday is slightly 
trickier than the Tuesday because the Tuesday is always so easy, but often not by much. Shall we start with digit three? This three blocking those two squares, this three blocking this square. When I say blocking, I mean not uh, disallowing the, 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 the placing of a digit three. There we go. And that means that three is, of course, going to be there. And um, what else? Four is blocking across this way and this way. That will give us a four in that square. Three down in this direction, a three up here, and three across there. There's a three. Five going to the top, five across the top. Fives will continue along. Since we've grabbed a hold of that digit, we'll continue with it. See what else we can do. And that might be all we can do with it. I'm not sure we can do any more with it. Looks like we're looking for two, eight, and nine in this row across. So we've got two and eight in the same column. That means if you've never played Sudoku before, the only possibility is that it's a nine. And even if you have played Sudoku before, still jump to the same conclusion. Seven blocks these two squares. So in this row, here's our seven. One blocks this square. We still need a one in this row. Let's put that there. And let's say this is an eight. Shall we click on the numbers and see where we can find... Oh, hang on a second. I've got to stop the video. I've got somebody at the door. What? Wait a minute. Hello, fellow Sudokans. I'm back after a short break there. And uh, usually when I'm playing Sudoku and I get disturbed, it's very annoying because I lose my th concentration and lose my thread. But um, <laughs> when it's the Guardian medium level puzzle, we're really not that concerned, I figure. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle to get back into the way of thinking of things um, and I can see how digit one is highlighted so I'm presuming that I was going through the numbers and I, I'm, I did I started to go through the numbers now let's have another look at digit one is there anything no I can't see anything so let's have a look at, num at digit two then shall we what can I tell you about digit two not too much what do we know about digit three then mm-hmm Somewhere there will be an easy number. This is the Guardian's medium puzzle. Somewhere there's bound to be an easy number. All we have to do is work our way around the grid and then we'll go, ah, there you are. He said, hopefully. Running out of <laughs> running out of uh, possibilities, though. Uh, well, it's down to digit nine to give us a no. I didn't. <laughs> okay, after me swearing to you, promising you that there will be an easy number to find, uh, I didn't find it. So I've got to look for other things like uh, numbers. In a in a block or in a row, <laughs> that's a, wouldn't you believe it? Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so we've got 4 and 5 blocking up here. We've got 4 and 5 blocking down there. That means that those two squares there can only be 4 or 5. Right. Oh, yeah. And they were quite close together as well. I should have seen it a bit earlier. Right, okay, so we've got 4 and 5 here. Uh, what else does that mean? Well, it gives us 1s in these two squares. That's not particularly good. Uh, we've al we've already got twos up there. Uh, seven. That'll do. Seven blocking down there. There we go. That gives us a seven there. And so now we can see the one blocking across there like that it gives us the one in that square. And we know this is four and five, so we are looking for two and eight in those squares, which makes sense because we've got two or eight there. Now let's see if we've got anything with the one and the seven now that we've done that. Uh, yes, we do. We've got seven blocking across here, seven across here, seven down there. There's our seven. Uh, and then we've got one blocking across here and one down there. So there is our one. And uh, now there's a couple of digits missing in this column. One of them is eight, and the eight blocks this square here. So that's going to be the eight. And the last number to place down here is a nine. Three then blocks across here. There's the three, and the last number here is a six. Six and nine block up there, so that's a pair of six and nine up there. This is one and three. Any help over here? No, not yet. All right, but I think we can start going around the digits again because, 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 there we go. Look, the wonderful things he does. There you go. There's a one in that square there. Uh, which became apparent now that we've placed the number along here. What else is missing along the bottom here? We're looking for 6 and 9, I think. So 6 blocking down there. There's the 6. 9 is the last digit to go here. Now, 9 blocking all the way up there. What does it mean? It means 9 is in one of those two squares blocking across there. 9 blocking up there. There's our 9. As I said to you before... Uh, six blocking up there. There we go. There's the six. Right, we've definitely done quite a bit now. Uh, should we go? Shall we resume wandering around aimlessly? We do not have any completed digits just yet. Six blocking up here, six blocking down there. There's our six. Eight blocking across here and eight up there. There's the eight. If you remember, we needed a two to complete this here and we needed a two there as well so we'll do that immediately let's have a look at the eights uh, can we get anything more not sure nine blocks up here nine must be in one of these two squares blocking up that will give us a nine up there Three blocks up there, there's our three. The last number here is two. Two blocking downwards gives us two there, and there's one number missing in this column. That you will find, ladies and gentlemen, is our four. Four blocks across there, there's our four. The missing digit here is five. Still no completed digits. Can you believe it? Let's try a three across here. That'll give us a three in that square and a one here. Still no completed digits, but that's about to end, I think. We've got ones like this. Yay! We have got digit one sorted. Let's just continue numerically because I think it's going to be 
knocking them off one at a time. We've done a lot of this grid already, so I think it should be pretty straightforward now. Twos now finished. Three across here and down there. There's a three finished. Four across there and down there. Oh, I don't need the one down there. Four there, sorry. I was looking at my watch, that's why. Four finished. We're taking these in order. Five blocking across there. There's a five. Five still needed in this column. That's finished. Let's see if we can finish this game in order. Six blocking across there. There's our six. Uh, no, we can't. What a shame. I was about to. It was. It was nice to take them in order if you can. But we're going to end up with sixes in those squares, and there and there. Can we sort that out? Hold on. Let's see. Sevens are. What do we need in this row? I'm not making this more difficult than it needs to be, but <laughs> uh, just trying to have a bit of fun here. Uh, nine here. So this is uh, six and what's the other missing number here? Is it eight? It is six and eight. Can we tell from the eights? No, we've got eights up there. That's going to be an eight there. This is six and six and what? six and nine can we tell no we can't all right okay can't do it <laughs> can't can't i can't quite manage it let's just do it properly then so missing number there is eight missing number here is nine nine blocking across here down there there's a nine nine blocking down here down there there's a nine that's finished six blocking down here now there's our six six blocking up and across there there's the final digit six eight blocks across here there's the eight and we need an eight there and eight blocks up there there's our eight and seven there and there and that's the end of the game thank you for joining me i'll be back later with some other more difficult puzzles than that take care bye bye